hello friends welcome back to my channel so we are back with uh, another series of tutorials so this tutorial is uh, completely a new topic uh, where we'll be talking about git so this will be a git tutorial for beginners and you know we'll be going by step by step to the next phases okay so uh, why git because uh, i've done uh, topics on devops docker splunk ansible uh, all those uh, topics and uh, git is the basics of devops because uh, without a software configuration management tool or a version control uh, you know you will not be able to do a Devo devops topics uh, uh, in your software development uh, properly okay so that's why i'm uh, going to start this topic on git so we'll be starting uh, this uh, session which will be basics of git so we'll be talking more about uh, git uh, github gitlab uh, so what is you know the difference between git github gitlab uh, those things okay so let's start with you know uh, git github and gitlab because there are a lot of uh, misconception between you know github gitlab and git so some people think all are same you know some uh, doesn't know what's the difference so let's talk about that uh, first then we will get into more about uh, you know the uh, in depth of what is git how git works so to start with uh, if you have uh, any confusion or if you don't know what is git so git is an open source distributed version control software okay and uh, why git is used is because that helps you to make or track the changes on a file and that change can be stored into a remote repository what does it means like you know if you have a, a software development or if you are making a file a code and you know if you want to uh, keep a track of the changes like who has changed uh, what has been changed when has been changed git is the best option for that there are other tools as well so but uh, git is one of the tool for version control and uh, very popular one so uh, that is one of the good option for you now you may think you know then what is github or gitlab right so whereas uh, github is a repository hosting service okay for hosting these git repositories so what does it mean like you know you have uh, repositories for git from your local machine you can store it on a uh, remote repository which it can be on cloud or it can be your own hosted servers okay so github offers both a free service and paid service and one of the benefit of github is like you know uh, when storing these repositories on github you can easily collaborate with other github users on your project uh, and uh, that that will help like you know some of the features are developed by some other persons and you know you can have uh, multiple persons working on the same repository and you know that uh, help you uh, to easily develop some uh, you know features for your uh, project or your code okay now what is uh, gitlab so gitlab is also a repository hosting service similar to github okay uh, so uh, it's not a difference like github or gitlab is uh, uh, have a major difference both are repository hosting service but from you know different way of doing it okay and um, the benefit or you know the feature in gitlab is gitlab is more focused on devops or ci cd features okay which does not have it on github but github is more popular because it have more uh, repositories more users to collaborate uh, gitlab is not to that extent but you have more features on devops ci cd how to automate your build test deploy uh, uh, to your projects so that is a benefit of gitlab so uh, I will get in depth uh, on uh, you know the topics, but before that I have a request. Like kindly click on the subscribe button, support uh, me to get you know more you know support from you. Okay, and uh, I also would like to request you to like this video, share, and comment. Okay, so that will help uh, for uh, you know giving a thumbs up from your end, like a motivation for me and other people you know who can get support. Uh, uh, from watching these videos okay now so let's uh, get into a little bit more uh, um, on this so what we discussed uh, just in a recap so what is the difference between git github and gitlab 
So in simple word, Git is a version control uh, system or software which will be installed locally on your uh, machine. Whereas GitHub is a popular Git repository hosting service and uh, it's a collaboration platform. And uh, whereas GitLab, it's a repository hosting service again, just similar to GitHub with uh, more CI/CD or DevOps features. Okay. Now, uh, in order to understand the reason why we have to use Git or GitHub or GitLab, you need to understand a little bit of the software uh, development lifecycle. So, in software development lifecycle, you have uh, different phases like requirement, design, coding or building you know the that's the main place where you will have the uh, major code or the products is developed then you will have testing and then it goes to the deployment or going to the market right so what happens is in this uh, process most the developers uh, simult simultaneously uh, do the part of the code right and they make the modification on the code and that will make uh, get into some conflict with each other and that's create you know a lot of bugs uh, in the software so that is the word with this uh, repository managers like uh, GitHub or GitLab becomes very useful. Useful. Okay. So we will see why it's useful. Okay. I will uh, go to the next uh, slides where I'll be talking about how uh, normally a developer use the code and what is the benefit of using GitHub or GitLab or uh, other tools like Bitbucket or SVN subversion like that. Okay. So let's see. You know why Git and uh, Git for developer. So, because if you are a developer or if you are an operational team or DevOps team, you should know like how uh, Git is used by an actual uh, development team. Okay. So now you have a product or you are doing a code, okay, uh, uh, like Java application or any other application where you'll be writing the code. And uh, there may be developer one uh, who will be doing a part of it or developer two. And there are multiple developers who are working on that code. And you know what happens is because this code, you know, everybody is tr trying to develop this code from their own part. They have versions of their own, like you know, developer one will have his own version, two will have uh, her own version, and the three will have his own versions. So the the problem here is like you know now do you have uh, different versions, and you know there will be a conflict now uh, to merge all these things and you know bring up the all, uh, actual product because all of these people have their own. Uh, code on their local machine okay because uh, you know they don't uh, they are keeping all the code on their machine but they are trying to make all the changes from their perspective so that is the problem uh, without uh, a source code or version control uh, you know software so that is why now we'll see how this uh, github or gitlab for helps us so using GitHub, uh, Git, GitHub and GitLab because Git is a locally installed uh, software so which will help the track uh, of these changes on the local machine as well. Okay. So now again uh, to consider you have a you know, uh, code or product and you have a developer one right and developer two and also developer three. So and again as we mentioned they have their own versions if they try to uh, you know, make the changes on the code. But the difference is like now the source code or the actual base of the product is now stored on a remote repository which is a github gitlab bitbucket or subversion and uh, from that uh, remote repository what we usually do is we'll have a master branch where th where the actual code will be there and you will have a branch now from that branch these developers will use that code and they will uh, start uh, editing or making their uh, versions and you know they will uh, uh, may, may keep start making the changes but before that uh, in the git process what we usually do is you we will clone the master branch into the locally on your uh, machine and once you clone it uh, we will talk about this all this command the git clone or git uh, initiation uh, how to create the repositories and everything I'm not going to go on that topic here okay because i want to talk about more of uh, basics and the concept in this tutorial so once you clone or you know once you create your uh, you know git repository on your locally on the machine what we'll have it will have two parts one is the local repository and the other one is a working directory so once you start making the changes all the changes happens in the working directory so for example this developer tree he's making the changes in the code which has been cloned from the master branch which happens in the working directory 
and uh, from the working directory what about the changes is in the staging area so then you know you have to commit those changes that will go to the local repository so once you make the changes in the local repository you, you can push those changes into the master branch so the master branch will get the actual code uh, from the developer tree so the, it, it has created a new version in the master branch so previous one may be uh, v1 now it have a v2 so you know the developer too can uh, check out that uh, you know, version and th she can start working or you know or she may have the old version and she would have a different uh, version she developed which she can push it back to the master branch and it does not mean that always it has to be a master branch uh, what uh, usually happens in the organization is like uh, from the master branch you will create feature feature branches and the developers will uh, you know make the changes uh, from the feature branch is you will uh, create the local repository you will make the changes and you will push those back to the feature branch so every developer will have uh, their own feature branch and from those feature branch it has to merge into the master branch which will uh, have a approval process uh, and that will be how it has been done okay so that's the overall uh, process will happen in the git so this will uh, benefit is like you know you, you will have a complete uh, picture of uh, what changes has been done each versions then you can merge you know uh, each versions together you to get the overall uh, product so there you, you can have the conflicts to be fixed and you know you'll have uh, multiple versions you, if you want to go back to the previous versions all those things can be achieved using the uh, git github and gitlab options okay so git is more of a local machine uh, software so where you'll have this uh, you know uh, commands which you will run it from local machine to push it to the github or gitlab or it can be subversion or bitbucket or any tools which you prefer to use it but he, this topic we are talking more about git head git uh, that's why I, i'm talking more about git here okay i'll be explaining more about how this working directory is staging uh, commit local repository pushing to the github repositories in the coming tutorial okay so this was the basics which I just want to show you. So in the next uh, tutorial, what we will be talking talking is like how to set up Git on Windows or Linux. Then we will be seeing how we can create uh, Git uh, remote repositories. Then we'll talk about a lot of most of the Git commands which will be helpful for your day-to-day -day use. And we'll also see how GitLab CI/CD will help uh, uh, in your day-to-day uh, -day work. Okay, because you have used uh, Jenkins for a lot of uh, continuous integration. You can also use GitLab for uh, this uh, purpose. So that's all uh, with this uh, topic. So I hope uh, this uh, tutorial is informative for you. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. So kindly subscribe to my channel, like uh, this video, share and comment.